in the last 8 years of history of the indian super league we have witnessed many players who have remained close to our hearts some are still missed by their clubs fans the list perhaps does not have the end but in this article we will be mentioning the top 5 players who have rocked the indian super league with the trickery and skills number 1 Steven Mendoza currently he is just 29 Steven Mendoza came to India when he was just 22 he was the main man behind Chennai FC debut ISL title in the finale the scores got level in the 19th minute when Lakshmikant Kattimoni was held guilty for their own goal In the very next minute Mendoza sealed the deal for the Marina Merchants. He played total 25 matches for the Chennai and scored 17 goals. Next come Bartholomew Obges. Bartholomew Obges is currently the top scorer of the competition with 53 goals in 77 matches. He has played the four clubs in India. like northeast united kerala blasters mumbai city and hyderabad fc he remains the highest scorer for kerala blasters with 15 goals under his belt a few days back for the first time he extended his stay at any indian club next come to feren coruminas feren coruminas is the only player to win consecutive golden boot award in the 2017 to 18 and 2018 to 19 during his playing days in india he was a constant threat to opposition defenders in the 57 matches he played for fc goa and netted 48 goals In fact until last season he was the top scorer of the competition until Bartholomew Obges and Sunil Chetri surpassed him Next come to Sunil Chetri Sunil Chetri is the second highest goal scorer of ISL He is the only two goals shy of Bartholomew Obges with 51 goals in 114 matches In 2017 to 18 when Bengaluru FC saw their inception to the ISL Sunil Chetri turned out to be the highest Indian goal scorer with 10 goals At the age of 37 he still remains the main man up front for both Bengaluru FC and Indian national team and for the last not for the least come to Roy Krishna Roy Krishna remains one of the deadliest forward to have ever played in the ISL. He is currently the fourth highest goal scorer of the competition with 36 goals in 60 matches. At the year of 34, he joined ATK in 2019 to 20. In the following season, after ATK and Moonbagan joined hands, Krishna continued the club. In the year of 2019 and year of 2020 he remained the joint top scorer first with Nedijas Valski and with Igor Angulo but he never won the golden boot due to statistical reasons please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get the latest updates